we have already learned quartiles. There are three quartiles. Quartile 1, Q1, Quartile 2, Q2, Quartile 3, Q3. And we know how to calculate minimum number, maximum number. So there is a diagram that is called box and whisker plot or simply box plot. We'll call it box plot. A very important diagram that is based on the five measure. That is, I already told, maximum value, minimum value, lower quartile or first quartile, Q1, upper quartile or third quartile, Q3, second quartile or medium, that is Q2. Nowadays, box plot is one of the most important measure to know the shape of the data or shape of the distribution. Any statistical software, you, if you use SPSS, R, program, R programming, Python, even in the Excel, you will find this diagram. You should know how to interpret it. So before that, we are going to draw it. If you know how to draw, it will be helpful to you. We'll draw it freehand. So there is the example. Uh, we have the data from there are how many data you can check? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine data. From this data, we have to draw box plot. As I told, box plot based on the five number, a five measure. We got the minimum number, that is three, and we got the maximum number, 21. And we learned already how to calculate the quartiles. That is, we got the first quartile, Q1, equals six. We got the third quartile or Q3, 16. And also we got the median or second quartile, 12. And this is the uh, draw from the data. If you draw a uh, box plot, you will go this shape. Let us draw ourselves, okay? Please remember this number, how we can draw freehand. Here is written in details, how to draw from the ungrouped data box plot, let us draw ourselves. That will be very helpful. Let us draw. Let us take a whiteboard. Let us take a whiteboard, okay? So first take the text, okay? So we have some text here, you can take it as long as you want, okay, you can take. So our, we got already minimum number is uh, three and maximum is 21. So we can start from the three, six, nine, or one, two, three, four, up to 24. So uh, we can take also two, four, six. Okay, let us draw two. Uh, start from the two, then uh, it will be, let me take it some more value. Better we can take it 14, okay. So first one is two then give it this will be a four then six you can take more gap two four six then you can take eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen 18, then 20, 22. So our last number is, as I know, maximum 21. I can take it 22 up to. So we can we took it uh, for the box float. I can make it uh, bigger, so it will be helpful. We can take the big number, maybe 24, you can take it, okay. So this is the number, then we have to draw a horizontal line. Okay, take a horizontal line here. So we can draw a horizontal line, you can take it horizontal line. Okay. Horizontal line, okay, put a horizontal line. Then uh, we already got, see, we got, uh, what is the our minimum number? You can check it again. You can check we got the minimum number here is uh, three, maximum is 21. But first of all, we need the first quartile, which is six. 
and the third quartile is 16. Let us identify the first quartile and third quartile. This is the most important part to draw box plot, the first quartile and third quartile. If you can identify first quartile and third quartile, then it is very easy to draw. Let us draw from the first quartile and third quartile. Let us go again, go to the whiteboard. So we got the first quartile. If you remember, it will be six. So uh, make a uh, make a dot here in the six, and and we we'll got the third quarter is as you remember is sixteen. Third quarter is sixteen. The so first quartile uh, we got the uh, six. Here take a dot, and here the sixteen. Take another dot. Okay, above also you can take it another dot and also you can take it here also dot. Okay, then we have to draw, draw the box. Okay, see how to draw the draw box. You can take a line here and you can take a line here, take a line here and take other line. I think uh, that is not so, uh, my line not so good but better to straight line, okay? Try to take a straight line, maybe here, a straight line, okay? So you can uh, use pencil, then better to erase. You can use the pencil here, you have to take a straight line. So you can make the correction, here take other straight line, the approximately, okay? Little bit high, there's no rule, and uh, this is, there will be the exactly. Just take it, make a box, okay? Appro approximately make a box, okay? So this is, we got the, uh, this is, uh, I want to so make a, so this is the, you take the Q1. The first one is the Q1, okay? And the last, uh, this is the one you took the Q3. That is Q1 is six and Q2 is the 16. The next uh, one, we have to take the uh, quartile two, that is the median. Let us, uh, let us see the, what is the median there? If you go our old slide, median is, oh, we got already made 12. Median is 12. Uh, let us draw in the 12. So median is the 12, make a dot here. From dot, make a line, okay? Median is 12, make a line. So that is the nothing but the Q2. So this is a box. Now there is a two tail. These tails are known as a whisker. That the base on the minimum number and maximum number. What is the minimum number and maximum number? If you go to our slide, you'll get the minimum number is three and maximum number is 21. Let us draw in the, from the uh, whiteboard. So minimum number is three. You can take here a dot at the middle of the middle of the box, the vertical line. So here is three. Um, better you can draw with a line. You can draw with a line. Okay, it's better. So here is a three, and uh, our is twenty one. Twenty one, I think here be here. So make a up to twenty one. Twenty one is here. Okay. So this is the box plot. That is, uh, uh, we drew from the quartile one, quartile two, and quartile three, and for the minimum number, and from the maximum number. In the next class, we'll discuss, analyze the box plot, and that will be helpful to analyze the shape of the data. For today, it's, uh, that's all.